Hi, Colleen Inman here with Zen Wellness. I'm here to talk to you about the upcoming winter season. In TCM, this belongs to the water elements. So in traditional Chinese medicine, or TCM, we have five elements, five seasons. So winter belongs to water, spring to wood, summer to fire, earth is late summer, in the end summer, and then fall would be the metal. Well, we're just finishing that metal season. During the metal season in TCM, the idea was for reflection. There's a lot of attributes that actually go to the metal season. Uh, however, for the metal season, one of the attributes was about reflection. And in that time, we kind of reflect back what's occurred that year. It's also known as the harvest. So what happened this past year? What was the harvest? You know, what are you going to, um, you reap what you sow. So kind of what came in. So now what happens is we move into the winter season and the winter season is about transformation. So those of you who might have harvested something during the metal season would now transform it. You know, you've looked through it and the idea was, well, how did my last year go? What did I harvest? And then during the winter season, we go deeply inward and going deeply inward, we look at the idea of how do I transform for the upcoming year? Of course, what comes next will be spring, and that will be when we actually start planting our seeds. However, the time of year that we're looking at right now is about gaining clarity. What am I even wanting to harvest next fall will determine what seeds I plant this spring. So as we go in this time of year, it's the darkest time of the year in the nature, in the sky, right? And so what we do is the idea is to go inward and look at our own light kind of turn that light on. It's easiest to see in the darkness, right? Turn a flashlight on, high noon, not so bright. Turn it on dark, uh, you know, midnight, easier to see that particular light, okay? So here we have that flashlight and it's shining brightly. And so during this winter season, we're going to be kind of discussing or cultivating that inward light. And that light is ultimately used to shine forward on our path. You know, what are we going to do? The idea here in Qigong, there's a great teaching, and I love this idea of uh, our Qigong practice in our bodies is a lot like a flashlight. So you have this flashlight, you have the physical construct of the flashlight, you know, the outside shell, the little spring that attaches, the actual light bulb. This would be your Jing or your physical body. And then you would have the batteries, and the batteries would be your Qi or your energy. And so that is how well are you charged? How much energy do you have? How long will those batteries last? And the third piece they call is shun. And this would be the illumination or the light that comes on. So first you have to have a good working order uh, flashlight. Okay, so the physical construct has to work well. This is about our body. How well is your physical body? Are there repairs that need to be done? Are there things that need to be helped or kind of managed with? Uh, the energy, this is your qi or your energy, okay? So this is qi, gong, qi is energy, and gong is work. So I'm going to work to build up my energy, right? We had a day, oh, I don't have any energy. Well, we're trying to boost and kind of bring up that energy. So the energy is represented here in the flashlight. Now, once that flashlight works and you turn on, you use those charged batteries, you turn it on, you get this illuminated light that comes in front of you. And of course, that light is going to only be as bright or shine your path as much as the batteries are charged and the working of the flashlight or the, you know, the actual object. So here what we do with our Qigong practice, especially in the Zen Wellness Qigong, it's designed to strengthen, repair any parts of that flashlight, uh, you know, any cracks, any things that might be happening like that, and then go in and recharge those batteries. This is a very good time of year for that because we're going inward. This is all about our kidney chi, our batteries, our, you know, our deep internal source. So we invite you, go in and recharge those batteries. And that way you can shine the light. And a big part of this shining light, just simply shining, what are you going to go forward with? We're looking for clarity. What am I going to harvest next fall? So we're always looking at things in the cycle of the seasons. So if I'm in winter right now, I'm going to transform myself from last year to the future self of what I want to harvest next year. So if I have something I'm going to bring into my life, I want to get very clear on that right now. So the idea would be to kind of sit and go inward, repair that flashlight, 
do your practice, your Qigong, and bring up your chi and illuminate your light. Everyone, I thank you very much for joining us live today, and I hope you have a blissful winter solstice. Namaste. Thank you.